Hi, it's Bethany from Fatal Cosmetics and the Vintage Beauty Parlour. Today I'm just going to take you through a simple, versatile and wearable vintage makeup day look and how to amp it up and transform it into a sophisticated 50s inspired evening look by adding some lashes, some liner and a really vampy lip colour. So first of all, you're going to start by prepping your skin with the appropriate primer and then you're going to add foundation all over. Next, you're going to conceal, focusing on areas such as under the eyes, any redness around the nose. I'm going to run a little bit over the lid as well just to prep, to prep for the eyeshadow. Next, we're going to set with the powder. Now, it's tempting to scrub the powder brush over the skin, but actually we're going to just push it against the skin to seat the powder. That's going to set it and stop you undoing all the work you've done with your foundation. First eyeshadow you're going to take is similar or just slightly lighter than your skin tone. We're going to run that all over the lower lid. Next we're going to add a lighter tone just along the brow bone and in the corner of the eye just to lighten and brighten the eye. To create some definition on the eyes what we're going to do is instead of a liner along the top of the lashes, we're actually going to go for a tight line which is much quicker, much easier where you actually lie, you lift the lid and you line just under the lash line with a gel pencil. This is going to give definition to the eyes. Next we're going to curl the lashes and add mascara, just wiggling the wand into the lashes and creating some definition on the eye there. Brush through your brows, we're going to focus on the arch of the brow, adding little uh, hair strokes with the micro pencil. Next we're going to take the True Red Lip Liner Pencil from Fatal Cosmetics and just add some shape and def definition and prep the lips for the lipstick which is in the Munro Red. We're going to add this with a lip brush and just make sure that you, you blot after applying in thin layers. That is the daytime look completed. Get ready for some nighttime glamour. Add to your daytime look to give it some more intensity, some more shading on the eyes. We're gonna add some definition with a winged liner and a sultry ruby red lipstick. Okay, so we're gonna start by adding some more definition to the eyes by taking a darker brown eyeshadow or con contrasting darker shade. And we're gonna really focus on buffing that into the eye socket. You're gonna use a nice fluffy brush there. Little tip, if you need to blend, you can use a clean fluffy brush. We're gonna also run some of that underneath the eye focusing on the outer corner and just blend, blending that to the inside of the eye. It's time for our 50s winged eyeliner. We're going to take a gel liner or whatever form you like to use and we're going to start from the middle of the eye and work outwards. Just start off thin, it's easier to build up so start off with a thinner layer. A little tip to help with the angle of the liner is you can use you can use a makeup brush as a guide following your lower lash line to work out where that wing will naturally flow with your eye shape. So you do a little dot, draw it down to meet the gel that you've already done, and then just fill that corner in and thicken it up. To sharpen, you can sweep up along the edge of the flick with a cotton bud or, and also with a dab of concealer just to make any corrections. Next we're going to add some lovely lashes. It's good to go for a winged shape because that's going to really flow with the eyeliner you've already created. A little tip, always make sure that the glue has gone tacky before you apply it to the eye so it's not moving around and messing up all the lovely work that you've done. It's time for the lips. We're going to change up the lip look with the Fatal Cosmetics Rouge shade which is a lovely blue based red. Apply a thin layer of lipstick with a brush, then you're going to blot with a tissue, repeat with another thin layer of lipstick and now you can either wear it matte by blotting again or you can wear it with a vampy sheen and just leave as is. Time to complete the look with a pop of blusher. We're going to focus the colour on the apples of the cheeks and then softly sweep up the cheekbones. To finish, set with a bit more powder if necessary and a spritz of setting spray. Also if you can see any shine of the glue from the lashes just go over that at the end with some gel eyeliner. So that's our evening look complete. Thank you for tuning in, stay tuned for more videos and thank you to Madame Von Shanrock, our gorgeous model and the amazing Terry McNamara Photography for these beautiful stills. See you again soon.